is a social enterprise startup company based in Boston, Massachusetts, and we're producing the Leverage Freedom Chair. It's an off-road, all-terrain wheelchair designed for the harsh conditions found in developing countries. Myself and my co-founders uh, met while we were students at MIT studying mechanical engineering and founded the company after we graduated. I kind of fell into a project of assessing wheelchair technology for an organization that teaches people how to make wheelchairs in Tanzania. And what struck me during that summer is that the products that were on the market left a large gap, particularly for people who lived in village areas. From the time that we've all spent abroad, we've really gotten to understand the challenges that, that people are facing. If you're somebody with a disability in a developing country, in addition to the stigma that you're already facing, just getting around is very difficult. There is a need for a totally new type of device that could both go fast and efficiently on rough terrain, but also be small enough to use indoors. And that's what started the Leverage Freedom Chair project. We call it the Freedom Chair because it allows a certain freedom that other technologies don't. That's freedom to get where you want to go. That's freedom to hold a job. Our goal at GRID is to make products that meet the needs of users. SolidWorks is a natural extension of that ideation process. We've got a, a design problem and functional requirements that we want to reach. We need it to be rugged. We need it to go off-road. We need people to be able to use this thing all day. A lot of the dimensions and features of a wheelchair are interdependent. You want to have the center of gravity in just the right spot, but moving it affects the size of almost every tube on the chair. And SolidWorks allows us to just change in a couple of numbers in the sketch, and having everything update gives us the flexibility to make the right decision and not just the easy decision. How could we make a mechanical system that would be kind of like a mountain bike for your arms, that could enable you to go fast and efficiently on flat ground, but give you enough torque, you know, to climb steep hills and, and sand and mud? We could just have a lever system where we grab at different points on the lever to change the effective length of the lever. So if we needed to get a lot of torque and a lot of leverage, you grab high on the lever, you can go through mud and sand, and if you want to go faster, you grab low on the lever, and you can push through a big angle every stroke. As we were traveling across the developing world, we saw just how common bicycles were. Everything that moves on the LFC is a bicycle part. It's something that is really inexpensive, but also very precise. These are engineered products that are robust, they're meant for human forces. Knowing that they can just go to their local bike shop and get something fixed is really important to us. One of the parts that's going through a redesign right now is the seat of the wheelchair. The seat plate is made out of uh, welded steel tubes. The issue though is that it requires a lot of labor to put together that we'd like to phase out as we move to higher volumes. And we've taken advantage of the SolidWorks sheet metal toolkit. We can get something that is really lightweight, really easy to manufacture. Instead of having something that was nine pieces, we have something that's just a single piece. We're going through a new design process now to make a lighter weight, easier to manufacture footplate that we can use in the next generation of wheelchairs. So we've modeled this up to simulate the person transferring all of their weight on one side of the footplate. It's kind of a worst case scenario for us. Based on these FEA results with the, the high stress area along here and also kind of along the surface of the box extrusion, Aluminum's great because it's lightweight, but in this case, we're probably going to switch this to steel. It'll be a much cheaper part. It'll also be a lot stronger. As an engineer, I like making things. You know, I want to impact people. But with this project, we witness impact on people, you know, very much firsthand. I remember one guy in particular, um, his name's Ashok, he lives in Jaipur in Rajasthan. Several years ago, he fell from a tree and sustained a spinal cord injury. Until that point, he had been running a really successful tailoring business in his small village. He was sent home in a very standard conventional wheelchair that he just couldn't push down the road to get to his shop. He went from being the breadwinner of his family to a burden. When we met him, he got in his LFC and he started racing around. And the very next day, he went down to his shop and reopened it. He's back in business, he's taking care of himself, and he's taking care of his family, and he's showing everybody how independent he is. You know, for us to be a part of that is just amazing. And 
and I want to bring that to as many people as we can. Mm -hmm.